create a timer window for a last started timer with the title voting ends in using remaining time and initially visible and then we want to set vote timer window to equal function last created timer window and then copy paste that one and change this to uh, show high timer window so we want to show last created timer window for all players and save so now we got this this timer going and now we need to actually show the buttons to click for to vote for the map so I copy pasted and double click and change it to dialogue create dialogue so we want a modal dialogue of size 600 by 400 at 0 50 relative to the top so I've just worked out these numbers before this is good because it leaves room for the players to chat um, and it's nicely sized for two items I guess it might be a bit big but that's okay and let's copy paste the various variable and then change this to be map vote dialog to equal last created dialog good okay copy pasted that and now let's dialog click D and set the dialog oops set the dialog title here we go uh, and we want to set it to um, vote for the level good and let's copy paste and now let's uh, create a dialog item button so we're going to create a button for it um, which is going to be the first one for the uh, forest level I guess okay so actually because I made the first four points in uh, in the desert side I'm going to actually going to make desert uh, the desert map be the first uh, the first button just for my own uh, own way of remembering it easily. Anyways, dimensions 400, 75, so it's a nice big button anchored to the top left with an offset of, and I've just worked out these numbers before, that's why I know it's good. This is X and Y offset from the dialog, and this is the actual size. Tooltip, uh, you can do whatever you want, you could say give more details, but I'm just going to do the button text, and this is going to be desert level, press OK copy the variable setting thing again and accept change this to map vote dialog items 0 to equal function last created dialog item so there we go so now we have a we now we have a reference to this button that was just magically created um, so later on we can check if it's clicked and then let's copy paste both of these there we go and this one's going to be at 175 down lower and it's going to say forest level. Oops, level. That's not even a word. Okay, and make this one. There we go. And save that. So and now we have our whole voting thing set up, but now we need to actually determine uh, when a player clicks a button and do something about it. So let's go new uh, trigger and name this voting. And inside voting, oh, so hold on, let me scroll down my notes. Uh, inside voting, we want the event that um, a dialog a dialog item is used. Any dialog item is clicked by any player. That's good. And then in actions, Control W, Control W just automatically makes the whatever area you're in. So I'm in actions and I press Control W, and it just brought up the action creator. And now we want to variable modify variable. So we want to modify um, map votes. Oops, yeah. And this I'll explain this after. Previous player votes. And then function player triggering player. And then we want a minus one. Save it. Okay. So map votes. So map vote zero is going to be uh well map vote one I believe is going to be the for 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 the desert and map vote two is going to be for the forest. So um, we're going to do some more stuff after this to determine the previous player vote, but what we want to do actually is remove one from whatever they previously voted for from the map. So if they clicked on forest, forest is going to have one point associated with it. And if they click on desert, we want to subtract one from uh, the forest and then add one to the desert, which they just clicked on. So this is going to take care of subtracting from the old, whatever they had clicked before. 
Um, so this is just to prevent a map getting an unnecessary amount of votes. And control W. And now let's do general if then else. Control W. OK. Click the bracket. And go to dialog. So if used, I scroll to the bottom by the way. If used dialog item equals equals, and here's where this variable came in handy. So if it was zero, which we know back from here, zero is our desert level. So if they clicked zero, what do we want to do? Control W, and we want to variable modify variable. So we want to modify variable map votes one to be plus one. So map anything map votes one is going to be voting for the uh, desert level, and then we're going to do another condition modify map votes two and if this is the second button clicked and the reason I didn't use zero and one here is because zero is just going to be uh, they're like their no map vote um, if I use zero I might th this system works if the first map is at one and the second map is at two and so on uh, but these can be zero and one because it doesn't matter so if they vote if they click desert it's going to add one to the desert voting and it's, if they clicked uh, forest it's going to add one to the forest votes but uh, we need to set what they previously voted for or we need to set what they're voting for so that we can subtract from whatever they previously voted for so they don't spam a map and then whoever clicked the most gets that map whatever so copy paste that variable and then go v and we actually need to change it to set variable not modify so we want to set um, previous player votes for the triggering player function player triggering player and we want to set it to one so this means that they voted for uh, the desert level and so we keep track of that here copy paste it into this one and set this to two and triggering player is the player who clicked the dialog item it's just something you gotta know um, so so player comes in here if they whatever it'll subtract from whatever they had before um, if it's the start of the game and they haven't clicked anything it'll be zero hence why we use one here so we don't go into negatives um, and then it'll yeah this I hope this makes sense it pretty much takes care of all the voting mathematics behind that so with this little system in place all the voting is good but now we need to actually do something when the voting ends so um, let's go new trigger vote timer ends good and control W on events and timer timer expires and we can just find our variable vote timer there we go vote timer expires and uh, let's make a new uh, action and we're gonna hide the uh, where's show slash hide we're gonna hide the where's it? map vote dialog for all players copy paste and then we're going to timer ttt there it is um, slow show slash hide timer window and we want to hide uh, vote timer window for all players good and um, one thing we're going to need actually is a local variable new variable and this is going to be an integer and it's going to be called max voted map so it's going to determine which map had the most votes and what we're uh, hold on. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do is click this. You could, you could always double click this too. And uh, it's going to be function math maximum. And it's going to be the maximum between map votes. Z no, we want map votes 1. And map votes 2. And if you had more maps, instead of just doing one maximum, you'd go inside here and make another maximum and then do max votes 1, max votes 2, and then max votes 3. So it'll compare these two, then it'll compare these two, and then find the maximum. And if you had four maps, you have to do another, another, and inside, and inside. But anyways, since we only have two maps, we can just do uh, one max max function on these two uh, two voting things to see which one was greater. So we know instantly which, uh, which one had more votes. Uh, okay.